trucks fill our local waterways. Some were intentionally sunk. Others are the victims of tragedy. The Environmental Protection Agency wants to know which wrecks are a potential threat to our marine life. Como Force Denise Whitaker is live along the ship canal where divers went down today to check out a large wreck. Denise? And it was a big one for them to check out. Derelict vessels are a serious problem in our waterways, from toxic chemicals leaking out to being in the way of safe navigation for other vessels. So today, EPA divers descended on one of those old derelict vessels, a former U.S. Coast Guard cutter, to see if she's a hazard. Her bow peaks above the waterline on the ballard side of the Lake Washington Ship Canal. The rest of the Onondaga is submerged in about 25 feet of water. A far cry from her days as a U.S. Coast Guard cutter, this 165-foot vessel served during World War II, was decommissioned in 1947, and sold in 1954. Her history from there is murky. We don't know precisely when, when the vessel went down. Uh, our best reports are on the order of decades ago in the mid-80s. So why is the Environmental Protection Agency diving her today? Diver Chad Schultz is going down to see if fuel, batteries, or other chemicals could leak and contaminate the water. There's nothing there. There's a couple holes in the deck that we peered through and couldn't see anything, no debris along the side, no signs of any hazardous materials down there. Certainly there's a question of whether or not there's an environmental impact here with the 165-foot boat sunk in the ship canal, but there's also the question of possibility of lost revenue. If the state has to pay to clean this up, it could be very costly. Navigation issues always crop up when you have a derelict vessel in shallow water and become part of the equation of, of whether it needs to be removed or not. The Onondaga is just one of a couple hundred vessels on the derelict list, so a survey like this one helps prioritize which ones need to be removed first. And state lawmakers just unanimously passed a bill to hold people accountable if they abandon vessels and leave them derelict. The governor's office tells me she's still reviewing that bill to decide whether or not she'll sign it. Live in Seattle, Denise Whitaker, Como 4 News. Thank you, Denise. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation doesn't call.